totally, totally. Like I fully agree with that. <laughs> we should be live. Just making sure all my stuff is good. Let's check. Am I live? Yep, I am. Be live. Just making sure all my stuff. There we go. Hello. Oops. Hello, Seer. Hello. How are you? Hello. I live better than I was. <laughs> uh, I bet. It sounded brutal. It was epic. I assume. That's why I was like, oh shit, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I. I am not doing that double ear infection thing. That that seems like too much. It, too much. It was not a full on double ear infection, thankfully. Oh thank God. It was almost a double ear infection. <laughs> Either way. To, like, yeah. check my ears and there was apparently fluid there, so fluid. That's still yeah, glad it's not that bad then. But I've had, like, an ear infection. Like, I got a sore throat that resulted in an ear infection and a half, I think it was. Like, the other one almost got infected. It was weird. Well, that's what I was dealing with. But I'm feeling better. Like, my throat isn't even a concern anymore. I've been downing tea all day and sucking on cough drops, so I think I should be good. Yeah, thankfully, mine seems to have passed. All I have left is just a stuffy nose, which is normal, so. Yeah, stuffy nose. Alright, let me stream. I'll stream the OBS to you guys next week. That should give you a good view of what I'm doing here. Alrighty then. We are live. I don't even know if we have any Ooh. viewers right now. We're playing Hogwarts Legacy. And I got a hot toddy. I didn't think wine was very prudent while I'm, you know, not at 100%. So I had Ronnie whip up a, a spiced apple toddy for me. In case you don't know, it's like a warm apple cider made with cinnamon tea and uh, rum. <laughs> so good shit. Let's see. Doing mandrakes here. Deke thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Uh, did Tani, did I left? Hold on. Did I get fluxweed? I didn't get fluxweed. Oh right, it needs to be something bigger. I already have mandrake going over here, so I guess we'll do more ditneys. Those are good. We wanted to put in a large though, didn't we? I don't think- did you buy it? I did buy the seeds for the flux weed. When did you buy it? Do you have a large pot you can plant them in? Uh, not yet. We needed to buy one. So... Are you sure you didn't buy one? Maybe check with your conjuration spell. Uh... But what was the conjuration again? I know I remember. I, this is always uh... a thing I have to do every week. Is remember what the fuck I'm doing. It's those light green ones. Yeah, so let's see. Conjuring spell, let's see. We'll uh, put that, put it here for now. Pickles. Hey, yeah, all these are small. We need large. It would be herbology. You're under just normal tables. Ah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think we still have just small. Or small. Let's do medium. Large! Large! Scientific. Botanical. Oh, eclectic. And gothic. Do, ooh, which one do we want? Hmm. <laughs> Find a place to put this. I remember it. You should have space down the hall. Down the hall? This one? Ah, that's better. Yeah, I could definitely you fit it here. A whole second room. 
good. Let's uh, let's try to rotate this. Maybe put it against the wall. Ah, I got it. How do I rotate this? Uh... Ah, yeah, like this. Left and right button. Is that the front or is this the front? That uh, doesn't matter. I don't think. Yeah, like right here. We take it. Sure. Dodger. Hell yeah. All right, I want to get. Out of that. Large point there. Alright, let's get us the flux we It's gonna take the a little bit. Capacitors. We've done it. Another one. Oh yeah. I guess it could be useful, huh? We also can do Chinese chomping cabbage. Oh, someone's playing with their springy. Hello, kitty. Ah, ah, ah. Venomous tentacula. Stupid foot. Did we need lots of flux weed? I don't remember if it was just one. You might in the future. All right, let's just have that going then. But those Be are gonna take a movie theater stairs, kids. <laughs> they hurt. Uh, did you fall or something? Yes, I did. I tripped on going down the stairs today, seeing Godzilla, and I think I twisted my ankle because it was kind of grown. <laughs> hey, dude, check this out. Look what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. All right, let's check out chat. Julia says, hey there, how are you and everyone been doing? I'm okay, woke up with a bit of a sore throat, but I'm feeling better. Just having some hap ha some uh, spiced apple toddy, so I'm feeling okay. Nathan says, hey Heather, hi Ikenis. Honey Drop the Unicorn says, hello. Gojula says, greetings and salutations, Honey Drop the Unicorn. Everyone's saying hello to, get to each other. Honey Drop says, Heather, if you want to get more XP, you need to do quests. If you get ruffled 300 mellow sweet, you can complete the Merlin trials as well as the balloon popping. Hmm. Interesting. Let's take a look at our quests real quick. Gojillion says, did somebody say Godzilla? So, like, spill that tea. DJ, was it good? You don't have to spoil it, but was it, it good? Was, it was okay. It didn't Definitely blow me no away. Way. It wasn't anything special. It was just okay. It's okay then, right? Yeah, I have this. I will say this, Godzilla should not have been the first name of the movie. Was it mostly about, like, Kong or something? This is definitely King Kong's movie with Godzilla sprinkled in. Yeah. And the Lion Keys, yeah. King Although Kong Godzilla is Godzilla very cute the in the movie. Days. Godzilla found a place to nest and it is adorable. I won't spoil it because it's just so funny seeing it for the first time. I'm gonna have to figure out the pulso. All right, we're growing and harvesting flux weed, and that's just gonna take some time. Let's do these are kind of passive ones, and we're fine. But let's do uh, the depulso one. There isn't that's like a. Though. Is it uh, depulso on a levitating enemy? Send out. Okay. Do you have the pulso? I do, otherwise they wouldn't let me do it. Uh, let's go. Rebellion. I always forget it's the right one. Let me see. Yeah, there's a pulso right yeah, there. Cool. And I and I do have it already um force in push. there. Yeah, force push. Ooh. All right. So I just got to do that. Cool. I'm going to reselect. No, no, no. Shit. I wanted it, this to be there. And uh, let me... Glacius. Glacius sounds fun. We haven't gotten to do a lot of that. So let's do that. And the cat's crying. I, I don't know if you guys could hear that. But he is very much upset. What is it, baby? What? What? Just crying for no reason. Alright, where can we find us uh, some trolls? I assume out in the forest. But what part of the forest? <laughs> mm, I think they're mostly in the southern wilderness. Baby, what? <laughs> can you hear this shit? It's because it. What? Oh, he brought his toy. He wants to play. Ba baby, I can't play right now. 
Right, he's going in my craft cabinet. Okay. Mommy's working. He just went to the craft cabinet. <laughs> it's like, I'm so ruin your yarn stuff. Well, what a little fool. All right, there's that. So when you say southern forest, southern area, you mean like over here? Sort like of the un in that general middle area where you've mostly discovered. Well, all right, we can just like wander like around there until we area. we wander around there until we like find a troll. Actually, you see that house there on the right where the flu thing is? What this one? Oh wait, this down one down over here. Discovered the Brockboro. Sure, there might be a troll in that area. I don't remember for sure. Well, this seems to be our closest point right here, so let's uh let's travel. At least you have a broom. Hmm. The honey drop was saying north, but you know we'll investigate both. We haven't really discovered too much in the south here. All right, so that place you were talking about seemed to be across the river. <gasps> Wait a minute. Over the river and through the woods to the troll's house we go. I think we've been here already. Look, a hippogriff! Have we been on this? Well. I know. <laughs> we did. It was a surprise cameo. Do you guys see anything interesting on this island, or is it all just ooh? Uh, let's get down. Yeah, shit. The funny thing is, right before the stream, I rewatched Silver Cold's video on the whole field with the Colts. Uh oh, did I piss something off? Uh oh, something is pissed. And I don't know what it is. Is it that a person? Uh, something's pissed off because I'm getting the dramatic music. So I don't know what happened. Right? Can I please get off the broom, please? All right. Cool. Uh, is this a mimic? Unidentified head item. Oh shit, I remembered I had unidentified stuff. There was something over here. Did you see it? A, a freaking life bar came up real quick. <laughs> hmm. That was weird. Okay, there's enemies over there. Let's just check it out. What level did it say it was? I'm level 19. Uh, no excuses. Dang it. I don't see anything. I mean, I assume it has to be there, though, right? Cotton dog something. Oh well. I guess it's gone. Let's see. <gasps> Balloon! Honey drop says Rebellio. Oh, okay. That would have been smart for me to do like two seconds ago. But now we have balloons to pop. Oh, I just got shown a funny comic panel. <laughs> oh boy. Gotta love it. Apparently Batman eats hamburgers with a knife and fork. Just, you know, it's just to unsettle other people. Be the top dog. Apparently, no, he actually does it serious. That's how he eats hamburgers. That's privilege right there. I mean, you're not wrong. Oh, I think I see also, the thing now. a new idea for Heather to use for her uh, shorts. Apparently, there is an actual restaurant called Fat Burger where they, often, instead of supersizing, they jokerize your fries. That sounds good. That's pretty cool. Here's a pleasant surprise. It's red, white, and green seasoning. <laughs> and all well, the I see. have to dress like fat people. I'm finding a lot of enemies. Not engaging Wait, with any of them because like I'm on Batman, a broom. Batman, bat people, or man, bat, bat people? <laughs> Batman, bat people. Now, where did I set my traps? 
Boa hugs for you. Someone shows up in a full man bat cosplay complete with animatronic wings to find out he seriously misunderstood the criteria. Oh, tears! You guys look, it's the tears. Oh, isn't Wait. nature beautiful? Dang it, Dave. We're not doing <laughs> Villains Week until next month. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just Keep pissing off. Trolls, they're not hard to miss. I'm just pissing off a whole bunch of beasts that I'm passing by. And they're just like, what the fuck's that? And I'm just like, I'm on a broom, you can't get me. Na 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 na. Na 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 boo boo, I'm better than you. Crows. Oh sweet. Wanna get that flume point. What's up? Oh, it looks like it's inside someone's house. Yo. Hello? So Interesting. says, Nature is beautiful when she's not out to kill you, lol. Yeah, as someone who kept going into, uh, cow world areas with pals about twice my level, I feel that. Yeah, you just kept running off and doing that, and I was just like, bro. To be fair, uh, I got some really good stuff out of it. I suppose so. Alright, so somewhere around here... Okay. Yeah, he got, like, a shiny, like, the third Pokemon he caught. Yes, I know. I was, I was not watching the stream. It was bizarre. Were you, were you on at, like, 1.30 in the morning? Or, actually, I think it was 1 in the morning. When I got a second shiny pal? Yeah. I was Completely ridiculous. Stream. I fell asleep literally at the very end. It's like he sold his soul and the thing he sold his soul for was something he wanted when he was like five. He's like, I want good luck at shining, at finding shiny Pokemon. And the devil was just like, sure thing, kid. Psh. Enjoy. The only problem with your little plan there is that I didn't know what Pokemon was until third grade. Well, you get it. <laughs> I'm guessing Danger Bog might be where we need to go. Probably would hurt. The teacher really assigned me to go out and find a troll. What the fuck? Ooh, balloon! Let's pop it. Ooh, few balloons. What's poppin'? Balloons. Hey, that's the same name of that popcorn we got. That popcorn is very good. Well, the flavors I picked anyway, I haven't touched your flavors. I haven't been able to touch mine yet either. I didn't want to fill my body with, like, junk food too much because, uh, you know, need a full recovery. I popped lots of balloons! Yeah, so we found a candy store up at a shopping plaza. It wasn't exactly a candy store. It was an ice cream shop? Hmm. Well, regardless, they had a lot of good flavors of popcorn. Uh... What was it, like, six bucks each, or four for five? Or, I mean, four for twenty? Uh, no, it wasn't four for twenty. Um, I don't remember what it cost, but it, yeah, very interesting flavors. They had a root beer popcorn you got, wasn't it? Yeah, it it, bas it basically just tastes like it's coated with the root beer barrel candy. Which and probably is what it is. Barbecue. Oh, that's gross. Hmm. Man, this danger bog sure is full of crows, and there's just also random people walking around like, yeah, whatever, I gotta go to work. Isn't that just the right tune to have? I guess I'll get these balloons while I'm here, since we're not finding any trolls yet. Ooh! Look! Bubbles! Bubbles. Bubbles! 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 My bubbles. Oh! Okay, I think they want me to go a particular way. But it's Superman 64! Hey, these are bubbles, not rings.
Ah, shit, I missed it. Hold on, gotta go back. That's it. I did it. Wow, I completed another quest when I meant to do a different quest. My bad, guys. It's happened so many times. I'm just very prone to distraction. That's kind of why I like these games. It's easy to do, and it's not necessarily a bad thing. Still on the search for trolls. I see none. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, we discovered another one of these. They know what that Hello. Means. Merlin trial. I haven't done a Merlin trial in a hot minute, but I gotta fix up my shit. Uh, man. Hello, wolf. Goodbye, wolf. Things are no longer an issue when you can fly away from them. What's this? <gasps> That's a troll! Can I take the tr Can I take the troll is the question. I'm gonna let it see me and see if I can see its level. What's up, bitch? Oh shit, it can throw rocks. Yeah, you might throw a rock land. at him. <clears throat> Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, it looks, it, it even says, if it's a higher level, then you will be harder to defeat. Shit! Alright, we're running. Gonna find a troll in your level. That's okay, we'll level up. We'll level up. I needed to learn this lesson, and I didn't learn it in a hard way. Also, pumpkins. You're gonna have to find a new mission to do, then. These people live really close to trolls. I wonder how they deal with that. Magic. Magic. That's okay though, we can find something else to do. I also gotta learn to pul like do the pulso shit. But yeah, let's see if we could get a different main quest going on. Professor uh matter pra practice flying near the spires. We're on our thing anyway. Where the heck are the spires she wants me to do? Is it at Hogwarts? Yeah, it's the castle. Alright, easy it's done. The same as the balloon thing you just did. Oh, okay, cool. We'll do that real quick. That wasn't so hard. And that'll be Easy. We just gotta fly back to school. I'm taking Easter egg that uh, these flying missions give you a resto momentum. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, because that's what uh, Dumbledore used on Harry when he fell in uh, movie three, as he was blacking out. No, oh, these are enemies. Shouldn't mess around. <laughs> All right. Tezo just casually wandering into an enemy's fort. It's like, ooh, is this a new tourist destination? <laughs> I know, right? That's what I do. I see some motherfucking balloons. And Tezo just flies off saying, I'm giving you a one star on Yelp. Woo! This place sucks! No continental breakfast? No continental breakfast! I'm gonna complain to Zillow. I don't think Zillow does that, but okay. <laughs> I've used Zillow. I've been a person shopping for a home. I never bought one. I had Ronnie do it instead. <laughs> that way. That way, I don't know. There was advantages to this, I'm sure. Oh, those spires. Oh yeah, those are yeah, different. Look at the rocks. <sighs> that sounds rock hard. Oh <laughs> look, guys, look at all this nature we're seeing. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nature! It's all over me. Get it off! Normally I am like that, but I don't have to feel the itch of hives. I get my nature by watching Casually Geographic on YouTube. Oh, I love that guy. He's hilarious. Okay. Uh... Yesterday. It was great. Oh, I think I saw the short clip of that, so I didn't get to see the whole thing yet. Oh, okay, I think I have to... Yes, I saw the thumbnail. I have to watch that. I think I gotta start oh, over here. Up. Apparently there's a whole cluster of enemies over there. Man, let me catch up on chats. Uh... Honeydrop says, wait, wasn't that the goblin cart? I don't know. Nathan says, who's the woman in the background? Say it nice and clear in the mic. Who is the- oh, that's Seer! 
Uh, Amethyst Hello. Majesty says, hi everyone. Gojillion says, effing bubbles. Gojillion also says, hello, Amethyst Majesty. And Gojillion also says, it was a big rock. Honey Drop the Unicorn says, head north. Nathan says, Heather, who's the woman? Oh, he was asking again who you were. Yeah, it's Seer. She <laughs> is an artiste. I am here. Woo! Bubbles! Here. Bubbles! She is here. She is my girlfriend. Back off. He is here. She's queer, but also somehow dating a man. Don't don't don't, don't question it. There we go. I did it. Yay! Pop balloons. All right, that's good. Return to Madam. Oh yeah, people have thought that about me too. People just think things. Like, guys, you can't assume anyone's sexuality. I like to assume everyone's pan unless stated otherwise. I feel like gravity is taking me down. I assume everyone is straight until it showed evidence to the contrary. My exception to that rule is VTubers. I assume they're all lesbians. You also have no gay bar, so you can't speak. Oh yeah, there's some there. people I knew I when they were- I believe anyone has that. I think I have that. I knew a child from a very young age, and I was just like, I feel like this child gay. And then they were gay. And I was like, mm. Look, if I had a nickel for every time a woman in my life made fun of me for the fact that I didn't immediately pick up on B. Dylan Hollis being gay, I'd have two nickels. It's not a lot, but it's a little irritating that it happened twice. <laughs> I mean, what's there to pick up on? He literally says it in several videos. I hadn't... I don't believe those several videos were out when I started watching him. Hmm. Talking about the recipe guy, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, gosh, he's... The he's... Oh, the yeah, most the... recent one had my state in it. We created Nebraska Voodoo with ranch cornbread. Hmm. The previous sounds... time we were ever mentioned was the uh, Tang cookies. That sounds terrible. What, you don't want orange Tang in your sugar cookies? I don't think I do. I don't like was citrus pastries. Was it one of the what? Was it one of the good ones? He liked it. Okay. Honestly, he liked both of them. Not bad. I'm a big fan of like orange and like citrus flavored things. So. <sighs> I still need to get around to baking, or more accurately, having Heather bake a tomato soup cake. I really don't want to. Which is what the problem is. <laughs> And here we go. You can get her to make the chocolate mayonnaise cake instead. I don't wanna. Or the chocolate sauerkraut cake. That does not sound good. Chocolate mayonnaise? No, I don't think so. It was one of his recipes. It's apparently amazing. Cause like, the ingredients in mayonnaise are just stuff that go in cakes already. Nathan's trying to get my attention and Nathan wants to say nice to meet you, Seer. for you to Akio. Oh, man, can I cast my spells on my thing, or do I have to be, like, off of you it? You gotta be on the ground. Damn. No casting spells other than Revelio from your broom. That sucks. Oh, no, that's not it. Can cast Expecto Patronum from a broom? <laughs> nope. In fact, that spell's not in this game. Oh. That's a crime. <laughs> Make I'm going to assume okay. Dementors are in the game? No, they're not in this game. Oh, I hope they're in the sequel. That they will inevitably make. Eh, if we get a sequel with how much they want to focus on live service games. I think we could. Where'd it Wrong go? Spell, Heather. Oh, you're right. What You're trying to it? push them away. Alright, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, where is it? It's coming around. Where is it? That's out. Where is it? Ah, where are you? Getting impatient. That's a bird. I'm getting confused with all the birds! You come here. Get it. Yeah, that's fine. What is that? I did level up. Did it take that long? I don't know. Alright. Well, I mean, you've been on the cusp of leveling up for, like, the past two videos. That's fair. 
there's a Avelio there. Yeah, I thought I saw him. Hogwarts Owls. School owls and owls owned by students can be found in the Hogwarts Owlery. One is advised to explore carefully, keeping an eye out for owl droppings and regurgitated mouse skeletons. Yeah, that sounds like owls. Are they very cozy like that? And just those little things? Why can't you pet the owls? Because this only is... cats are apparently pettable in Harry Potter. This is a lot of bullshit. And yet you'll always pet the cat. Of course, I love petting cats. I want to pet other things, though. I want to pet dogs. I want to pet owls. I'll, I'll pet a deer. I better be able to pet every beast in my BC area as soon as I get it. Uh, Which I don't know about pet, but you can brush them all. That kind of counts. I mean, all right. the only things you can pet, of course she's going to pet the hell out of the cat. Hell yeah. <sighs> Kill anybody who enters. Just throw out the cabbage. Like, My kill them cabbages. all. <laughs> My cabbages will destroy you like you destroyed them. Where is Madame Kagawa? Where would she be? Which one is Kagawa? Uh, I assume the Quidditch lady because uh If it's the Quidditch I... lady then her then you're right outside her office. Okay, good. Cause like uh, Kagawa was the one who told me to do stuff with Maburu. No steps there are her office. Oh, perfect. Stop bitch. Welcome back. Have you finished your assignment? Reporting yeah, back, bitch. Professor. Assignments all finished. Well done. Shows good discipline. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say. And you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. Let us practice our restore momentum. A charm, incidentally, created to stop quaffles from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. Precise, deliberate movements. I'm going to take a guess that Arresto Momentum arrests your momentum. Something like that. You know, the unfortunate thing is watching watching the Discord stream version of this is you don't get any of the sound from the game. Oh, really? Is it not coming through? Very good. It never has. Practicing your new spell as much as possible. I don't know why. Perhaps before you leave here. Might have something to do with the mixer, but the only way I can think to fix it would be to pump the audio through the microphone. Let's see. Acquiring use visibility potion and use a thunderbird potion against enemy. Oh, okay. Acquiring use invisibility potion, thunderbird potion. Gotta do that. Oh, my luck. My flux weed might be ready. But let's practice that thing she wanted me to practice. So let's see. Uh, it was this. That's it. Keep it up. I was frozen today. Nice. Okay, I think I got it. Alright, let's go back to the room of requirement to get our flux weed. I keep wanting to make the flux capacitor joke. No one's stopping you, but I understand. <laughs> the thing stopping him is that he's only got one joke. Hey, don't don't ascribe my whole personality. It's not funny. <laughs> I was only referring to this one situation because other than just paying flux capacitor, what joke is there to make? Ooh, I got a top hat, guys. That's baller. Are you, does that make you mayor? I wish. Are you mayor McCheese? Ah, oh, don't make me hungry. I had my dinner. I shouldn't want a burger, but I have. I have Madam Cheeseburger head. Hell yeah. 
I ain't I love hungry for jack after that. I love how she convinced me to make you think of a burger. Yeah, especially okay. after we had three different kinds of mac and cheese mixed together. A mayor McCheese is, is mayor canonically McCheese is. a burger. He's a cheeseburger head guy. Guys, what do you think of my hat? Do you dig it? I mean, Zoomers don't know nothing. Do you love it? Hey. You, you it love it? It makes it look like Willy Wonka from the new movie. I thought it looked like the Mad Hatter from Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Alright, now I gotta make the outfit match. Uh, while you do that, Heather, tell the, tell the stream what we had for dinner tonight. Every mac and cheese mixed together. So I'm talking like white cheddar. I'm talking like the cheddar cheese for Cheetos and the flaming Hot Cheeto mac and cheese with hot dogs in it because we're that kind of people. <laughs> Sounds oh, cheesy. more specific, it was Kraft mac and cheese, mac and Cheetos, and spicy mac and Cheetos with hot oh, yeah. dogs. Hell yeah. Do you know how easy it will be to recreate that meal? Not the point. <laughs> oh yes, I found it. This is where this is what it goes with. Oh yeah. And what was really funny was uh I was trying to round up the cats because they kept trying to eat what was left on the stove. And Brody comes out to the kitchen and says, Man, this uh uh, your theory about the non-spicy mac and cheese cutting down the spice of the spicy one didn't work. And I just looked at what went, no, uh, this is way less spicy than the spicy mac and cheetos on its own. And he just went, oh. <laughs> hey guys, do you think, do you think this scarf or this scarf? Definitely this scarf. Definitely this scarf, right? I don't know. I was raised by white people. Tragic. Oh god, the cats did something. I could hear it. Oh no, or maybe that was the ice machine. Guys, what glasses should I wear with these? Yeah, we got a new fridge today, so we have to get used to having a functional ice machine again. Guys, what what glasses should I wear with this? I feel like maybe these, or actually a mask. Maybe these. Yeah. <laughs> what are we thinking? What you think? Like a 3D effect on the cat glasses. We also have them kind of in blue. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like the other ones match the feather more. Yeah, are we in agreement? These ones? We are going full Alice in Wonderland vibes. Oh, I didn't check to see if my gloves matched. <laughs> Let's see what gloves I have. Uh, these are kind of steampunk, kind of cool. Let's see. Nah, not too red. Um, maybe. I'm currently leaning towards steampunk. What, these? Yeah. Aight, then. I think we do. They're gonna... Hell yeah. Alright, what the fuck was I doing? Oh yeah, I wanted to get back to the room of requirement. Or was I already there? I keep forgetting what the fuck I'm doing. Hell yeah. Here we go. How you doing, Flux Weed? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Now I could turn this in to Professor Garlic. What a name. Just scrolling on Tumblr, dooby doo. As we all do. I mean, it's the best social media site. Eh! If you say so. I mean, where else am I supposed to get my Jesse X Gillia Ketchum fix? I'll be honest, I don't like that comic. I, I have it on- I watch it on TikTok. Okay, whose dog that's is screaming? Again? No, that's- that's not me. That was- that was my dad. <laughs> 
a lot going on there. Uh, Sounds like Looney Tunes yelling. Sounds like Tom from Tom and Jerry. Gojillion says, I dig the hat. Ooh, holy quesadilla, Batman. yourself before you went to tell him to shut up. I couldn't. I couldn't mute myself. I was just trying to go out there and grab some things real quick. And then he just started calling me. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Where is she? I thought I was in the right place. I am in the right place. I'm just not in the right class, I'm sure. Is she over here? Professor Garlic! <sighs> Professor Garlic! I got the Professor shit you Garlic. want! I finished the activities you assigned me, Professor Garlic. Wonderful! I hope you gained a greater appreciation for the flora in our lives. I am forever enraptured by it. Just yesterday, I spent hours pruning my self fertilizing shrubs and flutterby bushes. I didn't realize how long I'd been at it until the sun began to set. Well, if there's one thing I love to see more than my plants thriving, it's one of my students doing the same. Now, ready to learn flippendo? Chin up, keep a light grip, and it's all in the wrist. Let's see you give it a go. Mm. You will want to focus with this spell. Nothing is mortifying as knocking back a colleague when all you wanted to do was move a few pots. So, um, guys, do you think, like, because obviously there would be laws in the wizarding world about flying while you're drunk. Do you think casting spells while you're drunk, like you're not allowed to cast spells if you've been drinking? Wonderfully done. If you'd like to practice a bit more, you're welcome to do so here in the green. Hmm. Huh. I'll try this one. That because Gojillion just pointed out that Professor Garlic reminds him of tree huggers. Oh, for sure. Red hair, also into plants. The only thing she's missing is some weed. Well, and also the green dress, green coat color. Uh, what what color is the thing that she's wearing? Well, let me take a look at that real quick. She's wearing a green dress. Yeah, it's pointing out the similarity between that and tree huggers' coat color. Yeah. Nudge from me. Alright, cool. I did the thing. Let's see, what other professor assignments do I need to keep an eye on? Professor Sharps, okay, I gotta use those potions, and I probably have to buy them. I have to get higher level to take on those things, and uh, we're still pretty good on time. Once I'm done getting those uh, potions, I can use them while we go find this helm of Erdkot. So, let's go to Hogsmeade. I have to sell a few things anyway. Let's see. Yeah, Pippin Potions. Ah, <laughs> mm. uh, yes, the thermos kept this warm. And just the right warm, you know? Not like scalding, but just like, just nice. Ah, wonderful. Just pruning, just pruning. Man, I'm glad this isn't like Skyrim, where I gotta fucking wait for these bitches to wake up at 8 o'clock or whatever every morning. <laughs> like, I come in in a white run in the middle of the night after a long quest, and I just have to offload all this stuff I'm over encumbered with, and it's like, not closed, you gotta wait till morning, and I'm like, fuck you, you're cool. lucky I have a damn good house. Save me a lot of time and trouble. Yeah, what she seemed like a bitch. You? I'm gonna sell this. Oh, wait a minute. A sec, let me switch out those gloves then, again. if that's better. I think I switched out all the other stuff. Beast? No, I was going into here. That's what I wanted to do. 
Yeah, that's better. I'm just gonna change the appearance of these. This looks interesting. I just saw this and I think it might be interesting to hear you guys' thoughts on it. Yeah. Have you ever seen the Night Rescues Damsel from a Dragon Trope played what seriously? What can I do for you today? Oh, uh, what, what do you mean? Like, you see the, the knight rescuing a princess from a dragon thing, like, that's a classic trope. Yeah, like, yeah, of course. Have you ever yeah. seen it actually played out, and it's not trying to subvert it? Nah, Mario. Wow. Mario is basically that. Like, every Mario game. Does that count? I think so. Why wouldn't it? I don't know, Bowser's not much of a dragon. A books I read as a kid. Hush what? darn. I'm gonna have to... I hope to see you again. Well for now. Which, you know, I think I've seen before. I mean, very technically speaking, uh, Shrek played it straight. They just had a uh, donkey-related side tangent to it. Alright, problem is, I can't afford the recipe or the spell, so we need to do stuff so that I can make enough money to go get it. Ooh. Maybe it's time to continue the story. Perhaps. Perhaps. I will be taking... Just turning into Peter Griffin. Mayhaps. Story. Mayhaps. I'm also learning the dark arts, so imagine if Peter Griffin were also Voldemort. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure they parried it at some point. I'm sure. Like, the family guy is slowly turning into the Simpsons of, like, have you heard this joke before? No, but I think I know where you might hear it. So I know they did a couple sorting hat bits on uh, his family guy. Did he? <laughs> oh, okay, that was just a thing moving. I felt something on my foot, and I was just like, what the hell's that? It was my cat. He answered my own question. Yeah. Well, they are demons in a way. Uh, but yeah, you're probably right. We'll move forward with the story. The plot thickens. Uh, we can do this helm of Urtot. Ur Urtot. Find the evidence in the tomb. The relic was stolen by Ashwinders. They are known to have been camped near in the Forbidden Forest. So you need to find it and get the helmet from them. Okay. Uh, so, return the helmet to Logdok. Recover the helmet from the thieves. Uh, the map doesn't have a clear place for this. They were near the Forbidden Forest, they said, yeah. Okay, they're leading me there. Oh, boy. Well, I at least have... You can teleport. I at least have flu powder. We use that better than we did in the movies. I know, you can use it anywhere without a fireplace. Uh, you just find little torches everywhere. Unless you're creating fireplaces in the middle of nowhere. Alright. It's gonna be rough. Let's do it. Guess you're going the right way. I think I am. Alright, let's chill. We can always use our broom and fly out of here. Right? We're already finding money, guys. It's fine. Money, 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 money. Run past him. He can stealth mode this. What are you trying to stealth mode? I don't know. But there's enemies nearby. And we could probably totally stealth this. Look at me. The key to being a great thief is to always be stealthy. Like a mouse. Why are you talking so loud? Oops. There they are. <laughs> the Ashwinders. Yeah. This might be a little bit harder than I would have thought. I mean, they're kind of high level. Alright, we could probably stealth mode this. They're the same level you are. 
But what if I can't take them? Then you're not good at Hold on. Oh, they're fighting a troll! That's kind of... Uh, I'm not going into that. You kidding me? I'll wait until they weaken it first. <laughs> I don't think he did... Uh-oh. Okay, I'm ready to go attack... Is that a... Is that a troll? Uh, I, I think I'll let this pass. Oh my god. Good god. Who could have seen this happening? Damn! This is like a free show we're getting, guys. I hope we... I think he's gonna be fine. In fact, I hope he walks away. Holy shit! You do have to kill a troll. It's it's a level ahead of me. I don't know if I should chance it. Let's just save the game real quick. Let's save the game real quick. Let's save the game real quick. Just uh, just, just you know a little, just be a little little cautious here. We should save the game. Just to be a little cautious. Use a cabbage. Good idea. I should change my spe I should change my spells up. I should. Yeah, I was just saying I should change my spells around. Good idea, everybody. Good idea. So let's see. The pulse. Uh, we can freeze it with this. How good do you think fire you is? To pulse, you need to put the pulso on, don't you, for your troll thing? Yeah, this is the pulso, isn't it? Or actually, actually no. Uh, yeah. This is the pulse. So this was something else. I just learned this. This is flipendo. Uh, freeze might come in handy. The freeze, you think? All right, let's uh, let's put freeze. The club is gonna hit Heather, and we're just gonna hear. That is how it would happen to me. All right, all right. Are we ready? Oh shit. Um, I know I, I I have um, mandrakes. I have mandrakes. Let's try it. All right, we ready, guys? Ready? He doesn't know where it came from. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Block it! Start blasting. Yeah, they'll only work four times. Barrel roll! Ah! I'm a little nervous. Ah. Oh, that was not the right move. Barrel roll, barrel roll, barrel roll. Oh shit! Not the right move. Heal. Heal. Ah shit. Wrong button. Ah shit. Healing. He put me in some trees. I don't even know where I am right now. A lot happening right now. I'm trying! It was stuck in trees! What do you want me to do? This was bad. Uh-uh. 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 Holy shit! Hell yeah. Ah, oh, shit. Not doing that. We almost got it. We almost got it. We almost got this. Ah, shit. Well, I froze him and it didn't matter. He's done! Holy shit! That was tough. That was tough. Hey, we got the troll boogies. Ah, we need more, I think. Though. Okay, that was a lot. That was a lot. Alright. Are you collecting troll boogers? Yeah, yeah, that was the quest. We need to collect troll boogies. 
We found the thing, I think. Oh no, we haven't yet. Alright, where's the helmet? Shit. It's gotta be here, right? Take a quick look around. Rebellion. I think anything has been missed. It's not anything significant. Nothing here. Huh. Okay, so it's gotta be... It, it, I assumed it was gonna be here. But it wasn't. Maybe across this bridge. I think I was supposed to take out all those guys, but then the troll just showed up. I don't know if that was scripted or not. That's it. Got it. Uh-oh. This is for Rookwood! Uh-oh. So let's save the game. Save unavailable! Fuck! Well. Today's a good day to die, I guess. Let's see. Da, 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 da. You can use them in invisible potions. Those two are the same thing. Kitty, not now. I don't think I will, though. Kitty, this is not the, the right time for this, I gotta say. He's just taking it. Okay, that, that was cool. And he's dead. Alright, uh, I defeated a dark wizard. I killed several people. Is that cool? Are we cool with me killing a lot of people? Is that down in the wizarding world? Is it you know, murder? Morning, you didn't use a killing curse. I will, though, eventually. I, I totally am going to. Like, I, I don't see how that's not gonna happen. Alright, return the helmet to Lockdog. How far away are we from wherever the fuck he is? I will be honest, I missed out on the killing curse because the wording of the text text method to get it is very strange. Oh, you better warn me about this, like, specifically so I don't miss it. I want to be able to kill people. Trust me, it's a long ways off still. It's, like, near the end of the game. I'm gonna put my cabbages next so I can use them. I gotta take this helmet. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, shut up. I already beat like five of you. Must have been quite stately in its time. Maybe. Uh, I guess like this? Yeah. Oops. Always need more of that. Thingy? Yeah. You remember the days when people would just leave around bags of money for other people to find and steal? Where was it your bags of money we weren't we were supposed to be taking? Uh, oh, what's this? Yep, another bag. At least it's Wiccan World. Need plenty of that. There's no telling what lies in wait for me in there. Oh hey, what's up? How's it going? I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well what's up, done. Bro? This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. Hmm. It looks stunning, Logdok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Perhaps I did I kill them. Rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. 
I'm glad that I trusted you. Cool. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. Yeah, that sucks. Alright. So we find we did all that. Now what do we do? Oh, you wanted me to use a pulso on a levitated enemy, duh. Alright, how much money do I got? 600. I'm gonna be way more than that. Damn. Yeah, we got some troll boogies. Let me see. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, gotta get money for that. Gotta remember to levitate an enemy. Eh, those are along the way. Eh, find the pain. Find gobstone. Mm, uh, 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 staying alive. Oh wait, I got enough troll boogies, so I gotta use the pulso on a the pulso on a levitated enemy. Huh. The final. Let's try this. Cash of the castle. The final clue of a painting with a ring at the top. As I search the area, I have a feeling it's nearby. Find the painting from Arthur's treasure map. So let's go back to Hogwarts and see if we can figure that out. We're looking for a painting with a ring on top? Yeah. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Hmm. Oh, okay. I think that's another one right there. Let's travel. I have to say, those might be a little. Well, I don't know. Friend, I, I if you think. Might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. Okay, so I'll contact them later. As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts. She hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just My south MacBook of is falling. By the way, Ooh. hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. Cool. Anyhow, okay. I get... Jesus Christ, people! What? I'm just getting so many letters. <laughs> like, I got <laughs> three... Yeah, I got... God, there's a fourth one! I don't even remember this bitch. Autolate Oaks. God, I got so many people, like, I got five or four letters at once, and people just be like, hey, so what's up? But I'm like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Relax. It's that guy who ghosted in fifth grade. <laughs> oh, shit. Do you think they actually ghost people in the wizarding world, like, turn into ghosts? Ah! Deke Just any time to show up. To see you. And Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. I don't know what that is. Deke has seen one of these before. Eh? Oh, this is how you get your creatures. <gasps> yes. It's your Pokeball. Okay. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. <laughs> Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Hallam said in Beasts class, that I should study as many beasts as I can, on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area, so perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out there on their own. That's Precisely. not a very good way of thinking, I don't think. You see? The room knew exactly what you needed, and luckily, we can show you how to best... That's how we came up with zoos, and zoos and aren't where? the best places. <laughs> Well, it depends on the zoo. Come along, man. Yeah. <laughs> and who works at the zoo? Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come Just and find Deke when you're ready to go. Just go steal a few creatures from the natural habitat. You'll be fine. 
So let's get this started. I want to have my beast stuff. Though I will say that reminds me of a funny story uh, of when I took Brawny to the zoo in Tucson, Arizona. Uh, I would I'd like to ask you about changing the rooms. I uh, we of I taken him to the zoo because I know he said he had liked zoos and uh, wanted to take his camera and take pictures. So when he was finally visiting me while I lived there, I took him to this zoo. It was not a very expensive zoo to get into, and they had great animals like tigers. There was one gator, just one, but it's the Arizona. So where was I expecting? Uh, they had these weird birds. They also had elephants. And the thing is, there was a girl elephant and a boy elephant, and uh, we were talking to one of the zookeepers there, and, uh, like, one of the the guy elephant was acting kind of funny, like he was touching, like, the one girl elephant's butt with his trunk, like, heh 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 heh. And so Brownie was just like, oh, it looks like he's getting a little too frisky with that uh, girl elephant there. And uh, the zookeeper goes like, oh, he shouldn't be in the mood for anything like that. He just had breakfast or something like that. Like, they just had a baby. Why would he want to do that? And then the elephant's dick comes out, and we were just like, um, I think he's in the mood for that. <laughs> so to answer your questions, no, I did not get to see the elephant's bang, but pretty close. Pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Let's try natural and earthy. I'm changing the room design. Yeah, I'm feeling a different vibe. It has been nighttime for a while. Mm. Although there is something you should know with the with the creature catching. What's up with that? There are shinies. <gasps> Oh, there's always shinies. I'm ready to land <laughs> In this game, they're albinos. Well, that's just nature. That's just normal shit. Yeah, but they're basically treated as shinies. That was a dark <laughs> time in Deke's life. Deke found himself in service of the cruelest wizard he ever met. Oh shit, were you telling me your life story? I was not listening. I'm sorry. Horrible things to beautiful beasts. Deke would approach her. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. It'll be nice to see one used for good. I'm following. Oh look, the little bouncy things. Deke will show show you show you our contracts for Sonic Underground. We have arrived. Oh. I remember the theme song for the really bad one. It was Sonic Underground, Sonic Underground. They made a vow his mother will be found. Sonic Underground. Their mother because he had a sister and a brother. Oh yeah, their mother. Throw hands. Yes, throw hands. That 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 series was really bad. That's really bad. It had great songs, Press, though. Press and then assign your knapsack to your spell set. Okay, uh, let's do this. I don't know if that's not what I meant to do. I meant to do this. Okay, knapsack time. Rescue a puff skin. Is this really rescuing? This just feels like poaching, but with better intentions. With, like... Oh, shit, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Uh, get over here. Get in. It's also, it's also basically a Luigi's Mansion minigame. Got, got a little... It looks like a cat with no legs or arms. I managed to rescue a puff ski. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puff skeins and... Well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Deke is certain they will be safer with you. My guess is sell them as pets or skin them. Simple to rescue as a puff scheme. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobanol, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? The funny thing Deke is, I think you actually can sell them west, later. Nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. You saw Deke has seen poachers in the area or something. recently. Uh, Deke yeah. will find you there whenever you're ready. Do I have enough toddy to finish this with? Hell yeah. Alright, meet Deke near the Jobber Hall habitat. Let's get out our room! Woo! 
Let's see. Hey, Rusty, I saw you're in the chat. Dozed off a little bit, did we? That's cool. Oh, this is that one tree I came to that one time that had a whole bunch of birds, and I was just like, birds! And now you can rescue one. Rescue, quote-unquote, is probably isn't a good idea. Like, I understand, t like, getting the albinos. The albinos you're talking about, they don't usually do very well out in the wild. That's why a lot of them are in captivity. But, like, just capturing some that you didn't ask for. Like, the problem that should be rooted out is the poachers. Like, I know that's not impossible, but if you make a significant effort, you should see significantly less of that. Because, like, just taking animals to live in captivity doesn't really solve the problem. In fact, it makes them worse at being, you know, the best versions of their animal selves. That doesn't seem like a good idea. But fine, we're doing this. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. I flew here. quickly. The Jobanors are just here in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. All right. What if I can't find any beasts in their usual habitat? Beasts won't stray too far from their homes. Look nearby or simply wait a moment and they should return. Do you have any advice on how I can rescue more elusive beasts? Levioso is not only helpful when rescuing flying beasts, it, it can also help rescue beasts that are generally hard to catch. Try using that spell the next time you encounter a small or otherwise elusive beast. Good to know. Don't care about more about you. Talking a bit more about what it was like working for your former master. Deke's master was not kind to beasts or to Deke. He saw beasts only as a source of income to be Which used bad. for potion ingredients and labor and Deke will not say more. But Deke is grateful to be at Hogwarts where he can help care for beasts and make amends for the things his master made him do. That's actually pretty normal. Then That's I nice. Go and rescue a job and Good luck. Deke will be waiting. Okay, let's uh, let's get Leviosa selected here. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Birdies. Oops. Birdies. Leviosa. Birdie. Professor Howen will never believe this. Got a little birdie. I'm gonna look at the rest of the birdies. Birdies. I wonder why they're like, why don't we see I mean we still see deer, but like why don't we just see regular animals? Why are jobbernals even a thing? They just look like parrots. Just to be magical. <laughs> I rescued a jobbernal. Deke hopes your jobbernal finds the knapsack nice and cozy. And Poachers want them for their feathers. I suppose that's true. They're this is cold as hell. When they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of. A herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. I mean, there's also the fact that they could be just straight up regular parrots. It's just that they have a different name because it's not, you know. Parrots aren't a thing for English people. So they're just like, Jabberwocky! Like a Jabberwocky, but small and prettier. So not a Jabberwocky. Yes, that's why they're Jabberwocky! Also, there you go. Jibby, 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 jibby. I was going down a rabbit hole. Rabbit hole, ha ha ha, because I'm dressed like the Hatter. But a rabbit hole of TikToks today that was just like Americans owning English people for some reason. Because, I don't know, it seems like English people online have been very aggro with Americans. And the channels I've seen always being like, well, at least we don't have shootings in our schools all the time. And like this one I was listening to was, ooh, that must be... Well, that's just a deer. Don't tell me that's a moon calf. That's a deer. Hold on, I'm gonna touch this. 
There's no way that's a moon calf. That's a fucking deer. But, uh, what the fuck was it? Yeah, so there was one where it's like, Americans, you need to stop pronouncing it as France. It is France. And the one guy just stitches it and goes like, British people, you gotta stop telling us what to do because last I checked, we won the war! <laughs> Shit like that's hilarious. It is. Moon calves gather what near the large tree with the I'm spiral sure pattern in front, in war, <laughs> only I'm American. under the light of Civil the moon. War. So, when? unfortunately, unless you have a way to... Oh, nice view of my time, ass. God, these pants make it look flat. We gotta work on that, girl. We're doing some squats. You think Ominous wants to grip those freaking box cutters? No. How did you end up at Hogwarts? Let's get more into Deke lore. Deke's prior master had no family. So when he died, all of his house elves were relocated by the ministry. Deke was the most fortunate one as Deke was sent to Hogwarts. Deke's friends were not as fortunate. Oh, uh, should I even ask? I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke yeah, I don't want to hear the rest of that. Your return. I know I'm a teenager, but I'm very slim. I hope I get some meat on these bones. Okay, let's just take it easy. These are fucking deer. That is a deer. Alright, I'm only gonna catch a buck because uh, the d the does need to stay in the ecosystem so they can make more babies. Maybe we just gotta be really chill about it. According to Honey Drop, moon calves can only be found at night. Really? Is there a weight option? That mm -hmm. makes sense now that I think of it. I love yeah, you very literal you're taking this. You're like, I have to keep the does out there and only catch the buck. <laughs> That's just ethical! Look, I know I'm chaotic, but I'm not a fucking monster. I have standards. I'm trying not to destroy the earth. That also reminds me of another thing. I think I might have talked about this on stream. Did I tell you guys how one of my girlfriends down here in Florida, she's like a vegetarian or pescatarian or whatever, and she um, she uh, has a husband who, according to her, is one of those vegans. Like, you know the ones? Like, the kind that are just like, uh, well, you're not vegan, you're not as good of a person. She says he's like that. I've not seen him really do this. But she swears, so I'm just like, oh, okay. So I was hanging out with them for gala times, so and we ended up going to this Chinese food place. And I was kind of tipsy, and eating some, like, a hibachi platter, and it was fucking delicious. I had chicken and steak, and fucking, uh, I just was going off about, like, this is so delicious, I love this stuff. Hello, Al, can I rescue you? <laughs> this isn't your ecosystem, I can tell, so that's why I was gonna catch you. <laughs> so many game series do this now. We're all stealing the Pokemon mechanic, but you know what? They deserve it. Throw a spear at one of the wizards from the houses you don't like. Ooh. I think we just reinvented slavery with extra steps. <laughs> but anyhow. So, anyhow. the same number of steps. Maybe? I don't know. We don't, we're not taking a ship somewhere to steal people from another country. Well, I mean, that's not how slavery started. I'd have to go into that. But before we get into slavery, back to the vegan thing. So I was with them in this Chinese <laughs> restaurant eating steak and, and chicken. And uh, we were talking about our pets. And I was just going like, oh, yeah, animals are just the most innocent things on Earth. I would probably donate to an animal charity before I donate to one for human beings. I was tipsy when I was saying this. I was just like, yeah. And he kind of gave me that look like, huh, you like animals so much, but you're, uh not vegan and i just go you don't understand i love animals to, uh, to an unhealthy degree i love animals so much i want them to become one with me i bring them into my body and we become one in the same and i think he just like he he immediately just like didn't go up that fucking <laughs> bark up that tree anymore because he was like oh this is some next level carnivore shit that is some yandere carnivore shit I love you so much that I must consume you so we can become one, little chicken. I love you so much, I must consume your flesh. Hold on, hold on. That's just sticking with me. And they're just going, and they're just going. 
let's forget about slavery. We'll, we're going to talk about veganism. <laughs> <laughs> and why my way of living. Uh, God, I just want to catch the, this fucking buck and he just keeps running. Hold on. You do have an invisibility spell. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm doing it right now. Okay, just don't fucking... I can save. Just don't, just don't approach too fast. They can still hear you. I don't Heather, know. You know who I think you would get along with fabulously in hell? Who? Rosie. Oh, yeah, we'd be besties. I, I'm all about her. I'm all about her. Hold on. Hold on. We almost got this. We almost got this. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Here we go. 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 <laughs> Bitch! Come back here! Come back here! No! What the f- Oh, he doesn't count. That's he doesn't count. He, he's a beast. He's an animal. Well, I guess we you have it right there. Them. Why not? Because they don't count as a mystical beast. Why'd you let me do that? <laughs> because it was too funny. Oh my god. Alright, so what do I gotta it's do to wait? Content, Heather. What do I gotta do to, like, make time pass? Uh, check the map, I think. Yeah, I think you can do that. Deke's gonna be like, why'd you stand there for, like, six hours? Um, uh, wait. Oh, yep. Yes. At least there's a wait option. I can freaking bind that in Skyrim. Okay, I guess I take a nap. I literally take a nap. Oh, those That's are the moon calves. Also, okay. chest. Ooh, chest. I thought that said sex dueling clubs, and I was just like, what? <laughs> oh, look, an albino. I gotta just be careful. Shh. It's okay. I just remembered something. Hey, Heather, do you want to tell the stream the joke Brody made like 20 minutes before you started streaming? Uh, please make it for me. I gotta. I, I'm fucking focusing. Where's the albino? I oh my god. What's with the eyes? Those were horrifying. All right, come back here, you little albino shit. Wait, you I don't know. Albino? Yeah. I thought I saw one. Yeah, there's definitely one here. I think it's that one. Come here. Oh no, wait, it's not that one. Never mind. You, you, you get over here. Aha! Uh -huh. Come here. Got it. Yeah, look at that fucking thing. It's kind of gross. Not gonna lie. I'll probably end up loving it. Like a pug. <laughs> Those things are disgusting. I love them so much. It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. Oh, was I supposed to wait for them to dance? Beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. Let's see. Uh, Rusty says, Heather, what you seen the TikTok where someone Europe was about to give a political opinion and the Americans stopped him and pointed at the map of the USA and it didn't have California on it. What the fuck? Oh, I've seen that. Yeah, what the hell? I've seen that. That's a hilarious video. Gojillion says, Heather, even bugs, lol? Like, would I help a charity for bugs? Probably. Like, I don't want to touch bugs, but I can appreciate them from a distance. Like your mom. Would you mom. want to bring bugs into your body? <sighs> nah, because, like, that's... <laughs> nah, because I tried. I really tried. Like, I can appreciate them from a distance, but it's just, it's really hard. It's really hard for me. Let's see. Oh, so uh, the next mission with Sebastian is available. Yeah, he's a bestie. He'll get me into Ominous's good graces. Let's see. Uh, uh, yeah, part of that story. Kojillian says the Mooncalves made an appearance in the Crimes of Grindelwald. Did they? I didn't watch the movie. I watched the main series and I never got into the uh, Fantastic Beasts. Let's go. You gotta go back to the room. I do have to go back to the room. The room of requirement. And get that all situated. You'll have the new area to explore. There you are. Now, 
We need to show the beast you rescued their new home. Rescued? Captain, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Yeah, not very humane. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Okay. Hmm. What you get one hamster. You think of? That's not even fit for a hamster, damn. It's British, remember? Heavens! Yeah. Bigger on the inside. You've done it! But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Brilliant. Meet you inside when you're ready. Uh. Well, all right then, let's go. Uh. Oh, it's nice. This is nice. Pocket dimension. Look at this. It's amazing. Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Vivarium? The beast will be quite comfortable Pocket here. Dimension. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them. Pot Let harness. them see their new home. Alright. I will release my little pump skin, my jabbernal, and my Deke shiny mooncat. Deke thinks perhaps you didn't know Deke was near. What? Ah, it's got a mouse head. It's so weird. Deke thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe well, homes for them. Any beasts the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll yeah, give you a fair price for them. them to an adoption Speaking agency. of care, beasts uh, are well is this really much food. different than what the poachers do, except like you know, in a nice way? Such as potskeen hair, for example. If you gather some magical Sometimes materials that's the only difference from your beasts, between good and evil, can nice and not nice. To use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. I suppose if you were like trying to make sure someone was eating. Punching them and shoving a burger down their throat wouldn't seem very cool. But now you can pet them. You just have to have the brush equipped. Uh, Puffskin, feed and brush this beast and release magical uh, materials. Anyone want to talk has been for a little bit? Yeah, sure. What about? Uh, well, we already had this conversation, so I wanted to see if uh, anyone else in this call had any thoughts on it. So, Sarah and Emily, who do you think is gonna fall? Sadly, Emily. Has to be, right? Alright. Any other guesses from the peanut gallery here? Eh, I don't know. I kind of want them to not fall. Look at that mooncake. See, I personally am, le am leading Sarah, but it all hinges on one very important question. Uh... Who is in charge of Angel's Fall? And I guess the related question, what's the criteria? Because if the criteria... If, uh... Obviously, there's something above Sarah that... You know, I'll leave this off since this is being broadcasted publicly. But, uh... At the very end of Hasbin, something happens that is very much above Sarah's control. So, clearly there is a power above her that makes decisions that affect her that she has no say over. In that case, the criteria question comes into play. Because if the criteria is, uh, don't go against heaven, Emily's gonna fall. But if the criteria is, don't be evil, bye bye Sarah.
I could see that. You get a set of tongue. Look at this thing. But it also could be Sarah was only following orders she thought was correct at the time. Why are there bees here? That's true. <laughs> but that's why I have the criteria question. That if she did evil, she what is, what I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Because now, Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try that it? Or Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what they the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Not. Well, Lucifer wasn't fallen because he, because he did something technically evil. He was fallen because he broke the rules of heaven. I'm actually, yeah, I've actually got some thoughts on that because um, we could see that Lu. I feel like what was the problem with Lucifer's actions was that they were mo motivated by selfish um, reasons. Like he really just wanted his idea to become to fruition as opposed to maybe thinking about the goodness of the earth. I don't think that makes him evil. Because when you look at this guy, Lucifer, you don't really see evil, but yet he fell to hell anyway. We've so I suppose... A loom. I know. I was just checking around to see if anything was done. Alright. Conjuration. But yeah, I just had some thoughts. Like, I didn't think he was evil. So I don't understand it myself, why he was put into hell. Another thing, though, is the rules might be different between uh, sinner, er, winners and natural-born angels. So, maybe human souls have to re-die to be rejudged, but angels, it could happen at any time. So, yeah, like right here is good. Oh, I can finally yeah, upgrade, can upgrade gear. your stuff. Loom use a loom to add an upgrade to secondary stat or apply trades to your gear multiple smaller grids than you need. Yeah. Do I wanna uh, decrease damage taken from dark mongrels? Increase damage with Petrificus Totalis. No trade applied. Uh, no trade applied. It could be to uh, have a archangel or someone of rank have to be kicked out by a full court decision. Quite a few things that could we could do here with upgrades. Some that already have traits. Because when you watch uh, the scene where Lucifer fell, it wasn't just God or someone else. It was the archangels all pointing at him. <laughs> Here's the real question. Where is God in all of this? That is a question. I don't know if they'll do it. That came out nicely. I should show Deke. Hopefully they get Morgan Freeman. I use the enchanted nah, moon. we need Danny to be able to be God for that show. I sure hope. Oh God, if it if someone plays God, I need it to be someone we know and to be for it to be hilarious. More powerful beast. Jack Black. For now, however, Deed suggests you explore. I think Jack Black would have made a hilarious Adam. Beast you've already rescued. Nah, he would have made a hilarious loot. Can I use the loom to? Oh yeah, totally. Any role. 
The loom will only enhance clothing has of a certain Hotel, quality. Starring Jack Black. Deep suspense will find more valuable clothing as you explore. They're all Jack Black. Jack Black. Jack Black. Jack Black. Some of the shops in Hogsmeade can provide you with a variety of It'll be a happy day in hell. Thank you Jack for your Black help, Deke. Oh god, I'm sure that AI cover exists. And now uh, Lucifer needs to be played by Kevin Hart. Oh yeah, you know, someone who has experience with the short king shit. <laughs> Alistair's Daddy... played by uh, The Rock. With Danny DeVito as God and is even shorter than Lucifer. Holy crap, we have to go quite a ways oh. for this quest. Holy nutsack. So I just looked it up. There is an AI cover where Jack Black is Lucifer in Hell's Greatest Dad. Guess who Alistair is played by in this? Is it Kyle Gass? No. I don't think you'll ever get this. Kevin Conroy? Uh, Andre the Giant? Donald Trump. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I know that Donald Trump and Biden AI covers, there's like, there's obviously gonna be, Bi ah shit, why did I throw it? It was on accident. I meant to hold down B. Trump, Get out. Trump being Alistair is, er, is very weird, though. Yeah, it's not a good choice. Yeah, like, why would you pair him with Jack Black? I think they were just throwing things at the wall to see what stuck, nothing did. Oh, why do I have a craving for spaghetti? I'm gonna have so much delicious food tomorrow, spaghetti not being one of them, so I shouldn't crave that. I just had some spaghetti for dinner. Mm -mm, good shit. Some nice Parmesan cheese. With some garlic bread? No, we didn't have any garlic bread. We had croissants. What? In this Italian household, we always have garlic bread with our spaghetti. Yeah, uh, my parents don't make garlic bread too often. It's Graceful. The the month. My fridge is more barren than the dunes and dune. Uh, bro, come over to our place. Our freaking fridge is filled to the brim and we're struggling to find space for things. Oh, shit, what was that? What's oh, that? It oh, it's a spider. Oh, wait, hit a flaming spider to blow it up? Uh, hold on. I believe that spider hit you or you hit a tree. I'm going to fight this spider. I don't think it's a flame, though. Oh wait, I, I needed to do Depulso. Ah shit, no, just that, and here. Yes. I did it! It's dead! Yes. See, I can fit things in. Was that all I needed to do for that quest and then I can just turn it in? Let me see. I think that might have been it. Okay. Yeah, one of them I'm says just to... attend divination. I'll do that later. So I've listened to half of it. The the AI isn't great. Eh. Jack Black's voice, it works as well as you'd expect. Trump's voice for Alistair works surprisingly well, and I don't know how to feel about it. Yeah, I feel like AI covers are like, because there's a really good Alistair hideaway cover, and there's a few good, like that Jack Black cover just worked because I think he had the same kind of pitch as uh, the voice actor for Adam. But I think um, it's, I think people got to tweak AI covers a little bit more so they actually work. Like the, like freaking, uh, whenever I hear p people AI voicing like Markiplier over Vox, it mostly works until he makes Vox sing or he has to emote real hard. Like, come on, you got to tweak with the AI at that point. There's limitations where humans got to fill in so it sounds like natural. Or just pay Markiplier to do it, okay? I'm just saying. Like, either do I mean, it well or don't that, do it. Uh, villainous show. Yeah, but he was a bear that didn't say anything. What? No, he was the super buff version. Oh, of yeah, Batman. that's right. He was that, but he was also the bear. He was also the bear. What's up? I did it again. See, the issue with 
hiring Markiplier is that that's going to be pricey. Like, do you know how much you need to afford a man who has five ovens? God, being a man with five ovens. Ugh, who's bothering me? And you can't pay him with no Craigslist ovens. He's Markiplier, bitch. Um, I cannot pop she the balloon fired here. And she missed. She fired and she missed. Yeah, you're not wrong there. Why the why the why the fuck can't I pop this balloon? I fired. I missed. I fired. I fired. I missed. I missed both times. This went on for several hours. It will at this rate. I got a popsicle. I fired and I missed. I fired again. I went for another popsicle. Grabbed the lid. Passed out of the back and I missed. Sum it up. Miss. I bet we're moving on from that bit now. Yes. Uh, uh, where oh, am yes. I? I'm sure you will. I got all turned around. Uh, I'll be there in a minute, Sebastian. I gotta pop some balloons real quick. Butterfly. Heather, I'm extremely tired. Can you double check the chat at what Nathan DeZumo said? Well, Luna Hellhound is my kind of cutie pie. She has beautiful eyes. Uh, if you're into red and black, I guess. Uh, Rusty said BRB. Honeycrab says not a fan of has been hotel or hell of a boss. That's fair. Not everyone's into it. Uh, one more up. Uh, Nathan says Hasbin Hotel is disgusting. Hey, that's just your opinion, bro. Like, I am extremely tired. And I'm like, wait a second. Someone should have been watching the chat. I've just been kind of zoning in and out. There we go. Got some crystals. Ugh, I've just had a long day today. I bet. I got all the chores done yesterday, and I was gonna fold the laundry today, and then I had a stuffy nose and a sore throat, and I was just like, I, get, I think I'm gonna rest. I'm gonna rest so I don't fuck myself up. I was gonna procrastinate my laundry, and then I couldn't find my other wolf sock. How to do it. Yes. What do we have here? The Debbie level guys. two lock. <gasps> Debbie, guys, where? Where? Uh, my character said a demiguise, and I'm like, what? Where? What are you talking about? What's up, bro? Got a merchant here. What the fuck? Whatever, okay. You're not gonna go into that building with a lock and like three chests? I can't. It's a level two. I think I can only do level one. Uh... I could go in there. Would anyone notice? Would anyone care? I do not believe this is Skyrim. What if they catch me and they say, Halt, criminal! Halt, criminal scum! Fuck! You violated the law! Then I gotta have to. I'm gonna have to get an arrow and shoot him in the knee, and it's just gonna get messy. Right. Some to this day still believe it was not his knee. I did it. Alright, see so anything good?
Don't worry about me, just robbing your house. For living on this in the middle of nowhere, this guy has really nice shit. Ooh, that's higher level than what I have. Okay, I'm out. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's not better, but they are cool looking. I gotta do this. Oh, change the appearance back to what it was, though. Please do to her my best. Oh. Alright. Boop, 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 boop. Wow, looks like someone's been drinking up here. Guess I will too. You made it. What's up, blood? Enjoying the view? Keeping an eye on things. Belcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it. Even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin referred to oh, as good kind as wand carriers. Are goblins forbidden from carrying wands? Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her... I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on, I'll take you to my uncle's. This way. Fun. Let's do it. Felcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time. Everyone stays Man, out of sight. Man, wizards have some good cardio. They do. My sister should be just inside. Oh, great. This isn't the house I robbed. I think it is. We've been over this, boy. Right. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. Well, you seem like you're the being too much of an ass. Reality, the better. But we Battery have to knew that would reverse the curse. There is curse. no cure. When will you accept that? Never. In what way is she cursed? Never accept it. <laughs> now look what you've done. Uh, you're the one that started yelling, <laughs> dickhole. He like started that whole thing being too intense. See that. If you don't mind, he didn't even I let it try to see if it work. Poor Sebastian. Yeah. Look, like, no doubt. No doubt it's a tough situation for all involved. I'm gonna give this uncle the benefit of the doubt, and this is just him being like, look, we gotta be real about this, accept it for what it is, and try to deal with it. But you, you gotta understand kids aren't like that. A lot of dummies here, I assume there's something going on with that. But Alright, guess I gotta help. That boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes, Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. You'd think you'd have the consciousness out. right oh, now to be like, look, I'm sorry I that ha you had to see that, but more like just blaming it on him. It could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. Ah, you sound like Sebastian. Thinking you know better than the healers at St. Mungo's. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. I if believe my dog. Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne. And the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves anytime oh. soon. 
giving up. Like we gotta get some CIA cruel. tactics in here. The only thing to do Hell now is yeah. keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the loyalists' way. You know, I'm gonna speak we up for my dog. Back, sir. Hope could keep Anne's spirits up. You may mean well, but I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope you'll remember what I've said. Good day. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. I'm just gonna... Hmm. Are you all right, Anne? I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly. It's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met my first day at Hogwarts. In the Slytherin common room. Oh, the common room. Oh, I adored teasing first years about spotting mermaids through the window. <sighs> I do miss Hogwarts. But I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home. It's not the cozy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentions something about your uncle being an Exora, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Good Uncle Julian Solomon is frustrated. All right, see you later, Gajillion. What happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it? They both mean they well, I know they do, but my uncle tree. is right. This curse cannot I'm be sorry, what was that? I can feel it. I said, guess it makes Sebastian sense to do that with only eight minutes left in the stream. Pain. That's true. That's Any last minute comments, questions, concerns, concerns, please say them now for hold your silence until the next stream. Uh, should I say my dog's made up his mind, bitch? We're gonna feed you. Excuse me. We're gonna fix you. Or, like, I can try. What's best here? Is there a wrong or right option? No. Let's see what happens when I say I'm this. I'm afraid it's really up to Sebastian. And his mind seems to be made up. I can only hope he realizes the futility of his search for a cure soon. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. I she wish looks you sick. well. I hope to see how Sebastian's faring. Huh. Hmm. These letters are very brief. I'm just gonna steal one of your apples, okay? Thanks. Bye. Are the uh, unforgivable curses in ti this time period con considered unforgivable? Yeah, it's been established thing yet, or what? What's up, bro? You're looking very dramatic right now. Listen to me. She's my sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance of what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. Fuck him. I'll admit I wasn't expecting him to be so angry. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister, and I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Okay, little little history dump Randall's here. Randall's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. So what it sounded All like is you need to is from what's find going on some goblins. State. The think, goblins hey, did this. Waterboard them. Waterboard. We gotta get the Goblin Slayer on the case. Up no, there, no, no, too far, too far. Plateau is where they cursed Anne. 
This way. We are going the way, Sebastian. When do I get my Thestral? I got the pack where you get a Thestral. How much longer will it take to get this British rabble? Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. Well, he did. He did, did. Yeah, no. Barbecued him. Barbecued him. <laughs> Served him up the first stew. Ramrock's vision of goblins ruling over wizards only we'll offers fuck food. beans with a nice Chianti. I'm gonna keep throwing these barrels. This is just a fun thing to do. Oh boy. What is happening right now? Oh god. Yeah, shit. I know a repairing spell. Is it that one with the wand and hammer? Yeah, that must be it. Repairer. You're welcome to whoever's cart that was. You're welcome. You cool, bro? Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. Yeah, we murdered some people. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. They'll kill for no reason. They're trying to hide something. Seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her. Which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere. But they do seem to be spending a lot of time here. And it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. 
Shall we have a look around? Alright, then this probably set up camp oh, here for a let him finish. Reason. They have stations for everything. Alright, that's probably a good place to leave it off for the night, since uh, we are now at the midnight mark. Didn't even do my five minute notice because, damn, I got locked in combat, bro. That was a lot of goblins. I don't know, Goblin Slayer, but I think I did pretty good. What do you guys think? Pretty decently. Acceptable. Acceptable, even, yeah. No Helldiver, but acceptable. Good thing I haven't played that yet, but I bet it's good. Alright, well, I'll take this moment to thank all my glorious pa uh, patrons today. Today, we got Ikidus Gorilla, Crystal Raymond, The Raptor's Talent, Cojilia91, who was in the text chat, Easy Mode Gamer, Angel of Speed, Aaron Davis, DJ Skywalker. Hey, he's that guy right there. Who's that guy right there? And then there's Emerald Spencer, who's also a guy right there. He's he's in the voice chat. Look at that guy go. If you'd like to become like one of them, join the Patreon today for as little as ten dollars per post. You can become a part of the the Discord server today, where I give all the latest updates. I spam my memes and pictures of my cats, all of that good stuff. And you can end up on the voice chat of one of my streams. That's always that's always fun, mostly the gaming ones. All that good stuff. But if you'd like, you can get stuff at lower tiers. I just did a hint today on the game that I will be playing for April. And I, the hint was for patrons only. So if you want to hear that hint, you'd have to be a patron. Sorry. But if you want something more tangible for your support, I understand. Go to the Etsy shop, link in the description below, and you can go to my Etsy shop. I crochet things and I make stickers, all that good stuff. If you feel like making a non-committal one-time donation, that tip jar link in the description is always active. You can give me a tip on stream for as little as $5. You can have your comment read out loud if I missed it. Or you can, that since that link is always active, you feel like making like a little discreet payment to yours truly, you can hit me up anytime on that link for a donation. Give me however much you think I'm worth. No negative numbers, please. And uh, if you just want updates on the stream, go ahead and just keep your ear to the ground when it comes to the YouTube community tab. I do try to keep it as updated as possible with stream-relevant updates. I don't, if you just want to see me more socially, I am on Twitter.com as well. So there's always that. I also try... I've been posting more often since view has been down. I have been posting uh, three times a day except for this weekend to give myself a little break because that is a bit more of a doing thing. So, uh, yeah, look forward to three daily uploads until the situation improves. And with that, I think it's time to say goodnight. Isn't that right, Susie Bagoosie? Just laying over there, licking your own butt. Susie Bagoosie. He's having a great time. All right, let's say goodnight in alphabetical order. Uh, DJ Skywalker, you first. <laughs> DJ fell asleep. Yeah, DJ said goodnight, everybody. You didn't hear it, but I felt it. Anyhow, next is uh, Seer, if you want to say goodnight, Seer. Yeah, goodnight. <laughs> next is Spartan Cardboard, or Ichinus Gorilla, if I'm not mistaken. Say goodnight, sir. Nah. Alright, and now uh, Spencer of the Emerald. Goodnight, everybody. Also, Heather, hey. don't you have a couple things to announce before we close out the stream properly? You know, I was wondering if I should announce what game I'm playing for April because I hinted to everyone in my Patreon server, or I sh if I should let everyone be in anticipation. What do you guys say? I say anticipation. <laughs> Any other votes? Any other votes? Yeah, let's make him wait. Make him wait? That's two for make him wait. DJ's dead, so he doesn't count. Spencer, what do you say? I'm not leaning either way. Alrighty, then we are going to make people wait. So if you want to see what I play in April, stay tuned. And good night, everybody. From April next weekend? Oh, right. Yeah. I almost forgot, guys. My stream next weekend, I'm either going to do earlier or cut short because I have a 5K to do that Sunday, and I have to get up early for it. So I want to make sure I get a good night's sleep. So, yeah, I hope you all understand. I'll make sure to say the week of, hey, don't, don't forget, the stream is going to be earlier or shorter. So... Keep uh keep your ear to the ground on the YouTube community tab or my Twitter for further updates. Is there anything else I'm forgetting? Cheese. Nah, I had enough cheese, thank so. you. Alrighty guys, then let's say good night. Bye.